In this video I'll be showing you how to fix black screen issues when trying to record or stream in OBS Studio. So there are several things that can cause this issue but before we get started I just want to say I have put some Amazon affiliate links in the description below to the hardware we use to record our videos if you're interested. And the first thing that we want to do is just ensure that OBS Studio is up to date. And to do this all you need to do is open up OBS. Once it's open you then need to select help and you will then see the option for check for updates. Go ahead and click onto this option and if there are any new updates then OBS will let you know and you will then be able to download and install them. So once you've done that then the next thing that we want to do is just update windows. And this can be done easily by right clicking on the start menu icon and then selecting settings. Next you need to click on update and security and then click on the check for updates button. If Windows does detect any new updates like mine just has it will then download and install them. Once that's finished then the next thing we're going to want to do is also install the latest driver for your graphics card. If you're not sure what graphics card you have in your computer then you can find this out by right clicking on the start menu icon and then going to device manager. You now need to expand display adapters. And as you can see I have a GTX 1660 Super which means I need to go to the Nvidia website and look for my graphics card and then download the latest driver for it. I will pop some links in the description below to our website if you're a bit unsure on how you can download and install the latest driver for your graphics card. So once you have installed the latest driver for your graphics card go ahead and see if OBS Studio now works and has got rid of the black screen issue you are having. If it hasn't then the next thing that we want to do is run OBS Studio as an administrator. And to run OBS Studio as an administrator first you need to go to the location where you installed the program. Once you're in the folder you then need to open up the bin folder and you then need to open up the 64-bit folder. You then need to scroll down until you find the obs.exe. You then need to right click on this and go to properties. Next we need to select compatibility and then tick run this program as an administrator and press apply and ok. Once you've done that go ahead and launch the program now and see if that helped. If that didn't help then the next thing that you want to do is just close down all the programs that you currently have running before launching OBS Studio. So if you have a web browser open, Discord, MSI Afterburner, anything like that, even RGB software that changes the lights on your keyboard or mouse close all of that down and then launch OBS. If that didn't help remove the black screen then keep OBS Studio open. Next you need to go up to file in the top left hand corner and then go to settings. We then need to select output. You will then see an option for encoder. So as you can see mine is currently on Nvidia. You need to ensure that you are using the correct encoder for your graphics card. If you do have more than one option then just try using a different encoder. If you only have the one option then that would be the one that you should be using. Also if you go across recording make sure you're using the correct encoder here as well. So as you see mine says Nvidia is still there which is absolutely fine. That is correct. As you can see I am currently actually unable to edit this setting because I am recording. Once you check that and if that wasn't the issue then the next thing we want to do is go back to the main OBS Studio section. And down in the bottom left hand corner you can see we have our scenes. And currently I have display capture. And that's what's capturing this recording at the moment. You can see here that there's a little eye icon. You need to ensure that this is showing and it does not have a cross through it. If I was to click onto this eye you will no longer be able to see what I'm recording. If I now untick the eye so it shows again you can then see what I'm recording. Also try changing the source that you're using. So I'm currently using display capture which can still pick up in game capture. So if you're trying to record a game then you can use display capture. But you can also use different sources. So if I right click and then go to add you can see a massive list here. And we have game capture here. So I can select this and then press ok. And I can then choose what I would like to capture. So at the moment it says capture any full screen application. But I don't currently have anything open and that's why it's blank. If I was to open up a game in full screen it would then capture that game. 
But the best way I find of doing this is to actually change this and then click on capture a specific window. And then you can then select the window. So for example, if I have Fortnite open, I would then see Fortnite in this list and I'd be able to select Fortnite and then press OK. And it would then basically let me record or stream Fortnite. Just make sure you do have the game open when you're changing which window you would like to capture. So that does now kind of bring me to the end of this video. If none of the methods in this video helped, then the next thing I'd suggest is try launching OBS Studio on a different user profile on your computer in case it is one of OBS Studio settings. If it does seem to work on the other user, then the next thing you could do is just open up OBS Studio on the user profile it doesn't work on, go up to file in the top left hand corner, go show settings folder, then go back to Roman, and then right click on OBS Studio, go rename, and then just put BK on the end. I'm not going to do that because it will stop this recording, but then press enter and then open up OBS Studio again. Just make sure it's closed when you do rename this folder. So I hope this video helped you out and you enjoyed it. If you did like the video, click the like button below. And if you'd like to see another computer sluggish video, then click that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.